a good evening, distinguished guests and my dear colleagues. What you see on the big screen is the final year research we did uh, for the department. And uh, now the, uh, the members of my group are as uh, mentioned, and I am Sandin Dasanayak. So our topic was phytoremediation of heavy metals in mine drainage by tropical aquatic plants. So I believe that uh, you may be somewhat uh, non aware of phytoremediation. So prior to going to the introduction, I would like to elaborate on that word. Phytoremediation is the process of plants uh, which causes the plants to absorb uh, ions or chemical substances from its surrounding and uh, this is mainly done by the root system. So we had to do extensive research on uh, literature available regarding the phytoremediation capacity of plants. Now, let me walk you with the introduction. Mining industry related processes, as we all know, have become major contributors to the environment pollution. So since the dawn of the civilization, we have mined and we have continued the process until now and it will continue as we all know. And extraction of earth resources have uh, led to severe environmental and land use issues. Most of the mining sites in Sri Lanka are located in residential neighborhoods as we all know. Therefore, finding an environmental friendly, uh, rather eco-friendly solution I would say the soft engineering solution is a necessity because cost-effective solutions are the trend of the modern world. Now, in this study, our main objectives were selection of suitable plants to use as treatment media depending on the contaminants and elaborating on that fact, those are heavy metals, and laboratory scale evaluation, some say microcosm evaluation of the heavy metal absorption of the selected plants. And further going into the details, I would like to uh, el elaborate on ob objectives as applicability of aquatic plants in the so-called remediation process. So this distinguishes the dichotomy between the biotic and abiotic processes used in uh, remediating mine drainage. They can be again elaborated and distinguished as active and passive systems so if I am to explain on active and passive systems, I will need much time, but I would simply say in active systems, we use uh, chemicals uh, to uh, do the remediation process and passive systems, mostly the initial energy or the initial cost is what matters. So as I have uh, uh, characterized them, we are interested in uh, biotic passive systems, which is aerobic wetlands. So there are other wetlands there also, but uh, they have different mechanisms, but what we have been in our interest was aerobic wetlands. 